All right, you bunch of yahoos, strap yourselves in for another episode of Dan and Don's Toxic Masculinity. In other words, shut up, sit up, and pay attention. We finally want to get your guys' opinion on the Sean Strickland and uh, Duplessis fight that happened a few weeks ago. So do you think that it was a fair decision? Do you think that Duplessis won or you think Sean won? I think Duplessis won by one round, you know. I think Sean fucked up because, you know, he was moving to the right. I mean, if you follow your jab, you move to the left and you follow your jab. And you don't want to, and you don't want to move to right, especially against the southpaw. And that's that's where he lost the fight. You know. Um, because Duplessis didn't didn't outstrike him, that's for sure. No, not yeah, at all. No, again, I, I agree totally with what you said there. He um he stayed really uh, a good good strickle. I mean he had good jabs all the way through, but he was not what I call it. I look at that. He dominated the first round, right? And yeah. but then after that, second round could have been iffy. But then from that point on, it was all the police. At, at that point, I he gave the did. Second, I gave the second to to Strickland, and I think I think gave the third to Strickland also. No, oh, did you? Okay, well, I just gave like one, two was was going to be iffy, but uh, you know, when you look at even by round two. The aggressor the entire time was the the, the Blissey, was the aggressor and throwing way more combinations of trying to throw hands, spinning back fists, yeah, kicks, but they weren't connecting elbows. Well, they, I, they I know, but, them, but they weren't connecting. Well, I I know, but I still I, I you know you got to look at who's actually being the pursuer, who's throwing all kinds of well you know, on, kind of on striking. Um, so Sean had. He landed 173 significant strikes out of 408 in Duplessis. It was 137 out of 354. And so Sean had a 42% and uh, Duplessis had a 38. And then he had, uh, Dreykist had a 54% takedown when he was uh, 6 for 11. You could even, well, even Strickland's corner. In the, in the last two rounds, his coach was getting on on him because he knew his fighter was not he performing. Needed, he needed more, especially yeah. going into that last, especially going into that last round. Because I actually think that his uh, his coach or his cornerman probably thought he was losing at that point, mm-hmm. and yeah. he better start going to throwing all kinds of bombs. Of which he did. I mean, he did throw a lot of bombs in that last round. Uh, Just yeah. my two cents. Maybe, like I said, I just kind of summarized it. And, you know, just watched it uh, probably well, what, what, last 20, 30 minutes ago and watched all five rounds. And first first round, I, I definitely would give to Strickland. Round two and on, I could see where they were all off. The, the other four rounds were all for the d- d- pussy. So. Yeah, all, those, all of Strickland, he's, he boxed the whole match. Right, you know, it was like, it, and then and he connected, and because he he, he made you know he scored that uh, nice black eye or swell up a little bit. Uh, yeah, you can tell you know, in that first like, round. Like you can tell, like you look at his face compared to uh, like his Whitaker. Well, they obviously knocked him out fast, but other fights it was not even, you know, like yeah, you can tell he was in a fight. And then Sean got cut really bad above his eye, and he was saying yeah. he couldn't see. Like after that fight in an interview, he was saying that he couldn't see out of that eye, but he wasn't going to take the bitch way out and say anything. He was going to keep fighting, you know, but he said pretty much fought the rest of the fight with only one eye after that right. happened. Oh, so the, yeah. the other guy, though. Yeah, he couldn't see either. Yeah, yeah. Dreykus' <laughs> eye was swollen shut yeah. by that time. It was like the rock. Cut it, Mick. You know, like it was. Oh, on that note, too, your Paulo, Paulo Creed died. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. yeah, rest in peace. You're cool. Yeah, Carl like Withers. Yeah. What Carl Withers, right? Yeah, Carl Withers. He was a hell of an athlete. You know? Yeah. He, was that? I mean, was it the age, or was there like a heart attack, or or what? Anything? I don't know. Just, he, said he went to sleep and didn't wake up. So. Yeah. Oh, that was. Well, kind yeah. of a good way to go, I guess. If you have to go, it's it beats yeah. uh, you know clutching your chest or whatever. Yeah. Or in Vince's case. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, hold, 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 oh. clench in your depends. <laughs> oh my God! Well, well, all on, on that note, I mean, I guess let's let's just go straight into straight. Oh, I couldn't help shit. myself there, fellas. <laughs> no, I mean, how can you? It's hard not to take that when you when you got the the doors wide open on that one. But so, what do you guys? Uh, obviously, everybody's talking about this Vince McMahon case, but uh, Grant coming out with their allegations about being uh, groomed to be sex trafficked by Vince McMahon in uh, Laurinaitis. Sounds like that gentleman's just the shits. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So so reading the some of the the deposition that came out. Oh man, like it's it's kind of gross. It it is gross. You know, but but I don't know, like they definitely don't we don't condone rape. That's freaking wrong. But after a certain time of going, why do you put yourself in a situation of keep going back into this situation and letting it happen over and over again? Well see, that's 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 kind of a fucking insulting fucking question to people who've been molested and raped, you know, because it's putting the blame on them. Well, no, exactly. Well, yeah, no, and I don't want to take it the wrong way, you know, of the question. I just, as of, you know, and you don't know unless you've been in that situation exactly where you're coming from, right. you know, because people don't know. And it's more of a question of, because I, I don't know, you know, and I, you know, I'm just interested, like reading some of her, the things like it's saying in that, and that, that it, how she was, you know, he, it wasn't just, one time it seemed like he was working on it for like you know she showed up and he definitely was being nice to her she lost her parents oh, you know he's, she, he's a charming fucker oh yeah he he tells you what you want to hear he's you know charming, and he knows rich. and he so knows and then when you got him. money involved and he's and he's a powerful human being right, right? so he's got See, you kind of make it sound like well vince might have been a little bit of a a worker oh yeah da, 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 yeah and, do you have to take out those different roles a and little, you don't a little know bit until you're in the situation, you know. And and for her, she, you know, you got you got a bunch of money waved at you, you know, and you got you know, and you just probably scared people. I'm sure it sounds like he threatened her. I mean, selling her that he's got powerful lawyers that know how to make right. things and people disappear. It's like that's got to be, you know. And when you're coming from that guy, from Vince McMahon, that's got to be, yeah. and you got to be like, all right, I believe that. But yeah. back, especially but, when you just lost your parents, you know, and you're all, you're all alone. Yeah, you fucking, you know, you, you're pretty, pretty fucking vulnerable. Vulnerable. Yeah. But 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 back okay, to but what, how old was she? Saying? Okay, uh, uh, how old was she when she first when her parents passed away? Something. How, how old was she? You no, know, I don't know her age. Well, I, I, I just okay, I just she know was, that I know. I mean, she, I'm thinking. I'm, I don't know, honestly. Oh, but, you read it too, Dan. So, I mean, yeah, just as I know, it, 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 it's in well, yeah, well, I think, I think it, this stuff started, you know. I mean, so they met first time, you know, supposedly around that time of March, you know, and uh, well, see what it says. Yeah. And then she was, that's in her, both her parents had just passed and she was their around the clock caregiver. You know, she's unemployed. So Vince kind of came in and, you know, gave her comfort, you know, what she was looking for. And the fucking, you know, the smell of blood in the water to a shark. Yeah. And then, you know, he did start grooming her, you know, and he did finally, he finally offered her the job and she was going to get hired. And then he finally, I guess, went down on her. And then, you know, but she didn't want that to happen. And then, you know, but then she was, so at that point, you know, like mm -hmm. so back what you were saying about how, you know, you don't know, like, you don't know the situation until you're in it, you know, mm -hmm. it's different with actually happening to you. You know, there's got to be other factors of what embarrassment of, you know, you don't, you know, of other things well, in there. Well, there's more shame than embarrassment. Yeah. Fucking shame. You know, and then, yeah, you know, when you You've lost everything and your parents, you know, and, and then you lost all your money, your house and all that. You, you know, you're, you're in everybody's fucking will. And then you get this guy shows up. Right. And then, and then she's thinking that he's a, a savior. Right. And, but it's just the other way around. Yeah. Exactly. 
Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know what, what you <laughs> Don's got to use the bathroom. <laughs> I I I kind of knew what was happening. That, After, that, that, when, once you hear, uh, you know, think about what Vince did. It's on that note. Let's go into what. What do you think about some of the things from your point of view, Dan? No, I mean, I, I just look at it that uh, was was she really a victim? Um, I don't think she was really a victim. She uh, again, I, I wish I, I I could go back and just see as to what her age was at the time, but. And for and for her to be old enough that her parents, gosh, was she still living with her? Old, she was still living with her parents. Well, she was taking. It sounds like her parents were sick, so she was taking care of them. Okay. Well, again, there's there's. I have so many questions. That kind of like, you know, sure, you're taking care of your parents. I I did the exact same thing, but I had my own home at the time, and I had seven other siblings. That Monday through Friday, I was the only one out of all my siblings that had, had that kind of job where as long as I have a laptop, my planner, and a cell phone, I could operate Monday through Friday. But I had other people that could that could run my classes for me. And uh, I just had to tell them that by Friday sometime. I need to tag somebody else in at that point then because by Friday, I usually was heading some direction. So it worked uh, well for the Severn clan to have uh, mom and dad were, were, were at home and they uh, spent their last days on their farm, in their home, you know, uh, until they drove uh, drew their last breaths. So yeah, again, well, it was not well, a, then, not a fun you, thing to go through. Maybe in her situation was, I don't know, different. You know, she had no help. You know, who knows? They needed somebody to have full-time care, you know? Yeah, again, it, it, there's there's so many, so many uh, additional questions I would have on this. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I'll just say oh, 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 Vince took advantage of the situation. You know, he, he, he knew what he was getting into. And, and, and it's uh, it's not like it's Vince's first rodeo there whatsoever. So no, it's... it's uh, this is highly, I highly doubt this is the first time that he's done this to somebody. It's almost like he he enjoys seeing other people suffer, him making them suffer, you know, like taking away their happiness on some people. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's been known to ruin more than one life. <laughs> yeah. What about what about you, Don? Like you you met him. You said you had an interview with him once, right? No, I just shook his hand twice. Yeah, you know, met him twice. You know. Apparently he wasn't impressed enough with me to offer me a job. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You weren't you weren't sexy enough. <laughs> no, yeah. that's shocking because that's pretty sexy back then, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they that's what they <laughs> what, I, you mean you're not the pets me. I went to see your sister home now. That, come on. No, no. <laughs> them them year, new years are gone, boy. Had my moment, <laughs> had my moment in the sun and you know, that's a fun spot. <laughs> I just thought maybe you go to the down to the down to that you know, senior sister to put put on a nice fresh pair of depends and get out there shake shake rattle and roll shake baby booty. come on. Shake, <laughs> shake, shake, shake my booty. So how do you, how do you get out of a situation like that? You know, well, apparently she did it finally because then it says she got so pretty much they they messed her up so bad one time because yeah obviously, obviously it happened there's a few times where they would have multiple people involved. Right. And um, she got injured and couldn't cut work for a while, so they let her go. You know, so then you know she wasn't around anymore. And that, but but like, how do you get out of a situation like this? You know, and and you gotta get away from. You gotta separate yourself from the people. Yeah, yeah. You know, you gotta, that way that way you, they don't have control of you because as long as they're within around, view around you, yeah, or they you know they have control of your funds. Or, you know, somehow, and then they you yeah. still feel like they own well, you. Well, she did because they offered her, they made up a job for her, a legal department, you know, the head of some legal, made up legal department. For, and mm -hmm. She got like 75000 a year mm -hmm. to show up there. And with, uh, well, I mean, she was obviously at a different job. You know, they were going to give her their real title, you know. But uh, so what do you think about the like part about uh, him shitting on her? That's fucked up. That's just fucked up. Not only he brings in another person, 
Mm-hmm. After after him telling her to be quiet about it, you know, don't tell anybody. Then he's going showing. Well, that's another thing I want to. So so he has pictures of suppose like she sent him pictures and stuff. Like why are you sending pictures of, like of him, like to him, not thinking he's going to show anybody, you know? Mm-hmm. Like it's just because you're stupid. And you, yeah. like you said you're vulnerable and you believe in everything this guy's saying because he has such a big impact on your life, you know, financially, you know, mentally, emotionally. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's... You have a, even though he's abusing you, you still have a trust in this person. Even after he shits on you? Like, you don't yeah. want to, like, that's really like, all right, something you got to get out of there somehow. To the point to where he almost sounds like they beat the shit out of her. And there was way more to that part of the story about, them acting like some a different other is said a different employee that couldn't show up that night because he got so drunk. So Vince would role play right. of these people. Ooh. And so he acted like that uh that employee that um they said they wouldn't name his name, but he was a former UFC champion. So you know. Mm. Uh, Don, Dan, were you there? Dan, what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> well, so how'd you feel about that, Dan? Did you, did you sign the NBA? <laughs> yeah. Did he did he did he Gorbachev you there, Don? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh my god, that's funny. I don't know. And it so so how do you think this will play out? You think that he will uh you think he's gonna be I think it's definitely gonna like an attain the way people look at him, like they like as a performer, because you know, you gotta think about what he did for years it was great like those years with him and austin and those angles and you know i'm almost like it did with benoit you know like because people like benoit was a great performer and then once mm-hmm. this shit happened with him everybody's shit on him mm-hmm. like in my opinion he's still chris benoit still was great for, he's still yeah. is that yeah, yeah you know like he, he had, yeah he had he had a really good work rate about him i mean the, the guy yeah, was like, not he's not gonna talk or stuff like that he, all of his stuff was he had he was just a, a great worker inside the ring inside no. and outside the ring i mean he just you know went to business like i said man he was a great guy you know for every as long as i know him he was a great guy all the way until that last 72 hours of his life you yeah. know and, and that's all everybody remembers well then it goes down to there was way more to it than just 72 hours you know <laughs> there's so much more and nobody knows the background of what was going on in his personal life and you know and what you know but anyway, that's a whole other freaking subject. But but how do you think this will play out for Vince? Do you think that he is definitely going to taint, obviously, his his legacy of who he was? And of course, it will. It's just or it's just going to get another thing with him. He'll pay it off. Do you think it'll ever even get to like the big courts? Because like sex trafficking is like a felony. Like it's a big, a big charge. He doesn't care about felony. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not gonna be able to get a loan, not gonna be able no, to get a no. job. No, no, he's he and, and he's well, he's older now too, isn't it? Like how much longer do you think this guy got? Right. You know? Right. Like it's he don't give a shit. He could he could he's got enough money to draw this out in the legal system right. for the rest of his life and it's not even gonna matter to him. You think all the family knew? Like the kids, this is how they all kind of mm-hmm. just disappeared out of the just out of you know the spotlight too. Oh, I don't know. I'm putting thought into it. <laughs> no, I just went, yeah. I was thinking, yeah, because all of a sudden, you know, it's just like, let's get out of here before they know what's going on. Because you have to know, like he was telling I, I would think me. that because they're all in, into the business that you, you got to know at least something. You can't be completely blind to all of it. If it's uh Yeah, you're going to hear something. Yeah, either hear something or, you know, you're going to, you know, you're, you're, you're being employed. And, and and the family business, so you just you know you're gonna you're gonna see things, and then again you simply don't know sometimes because there's so many different there's so many different angles or storylines that are being played out all the time, and and uh, you know sexual innuendos are always taking place. But I mean, you gotta look at even Mark Henry was uh, a sexual chocolate was once uh, <laughs> uh, yeah sexual chocolate, and and he was affiliated with uh, me, uh the older professional wrestling lady, uh, May. Oh, yeah, May West. Um, yeah, May West. I, and I'm thinking, you know, and, and, and yeah. So again, mm-hmm. you know, look, look how long that goes back into. And you, and you, you she's a, one of the most, uh, probably yeah, one of the toughest uh, women wrestlers there was at the time. Right? Yeah, yeah. I think they did an angle, a little vignette with them where they were, like all three of them were in bed, Mula and 
May Young. Yeah, that's a that's crazy. But anyways, on that note, we'll move on to something uh a little yeah, bit more. Should we be putting in a quick little commercial break there for like to thank our sponsors, you know, X Lax and uh Depends and uh you know Geritol. Geritol, along with uh you know eyeglass company Vi Viagra <laughs> the B for victory <laughs> so, some bifocals and try uh -huh. well I, I've got so should, should I put put out there now I I got a good good used uh, walker that uh you know it, it's uh, yeah. I got for sale now. <laughs> Yeah. Slightly well, used. You got some <laughs> tennis ball, tennis balls on the on the legs. I'm gonna use them Sundays. So hey, we got a. Guess it's more of a fan comment in class question. It says, uh, "As I saw a UFC show where Tyrone Woodley stated that he couldn't be paid enough to do." What the UFC did at the beginning, so which confirms and what I've said all along, that um, in the early days, in the one night tournaments, you were real men, original tough guys. Well, um, the, the, and he the says I can't think I can't think anybody nowadays that could do that and be willing to fight three times in one evening. This just makes it even more, makes them cherish even more of those days. Of watching you guys fight. Yeah, well, I think like we've, we've mentioned before, I mean, a lot of that was uh, it, because this sport was so new and you had a lot of one-dimensional athletes that were climbing into it. You had a boxer versus a taekwondo versus a kickboxer versus a sumo versus a, uh, you know, they're, they're just... There's a novel. There are no weight classes, so there are so many different factors leading to it, you know. But that that eight man tournament. I mean, Don. I mean, your mind said is you simply know when you go out there, you're going to try to make as quick a work as possible. Right. Hopefully, not take any damage in the process of of this match because you simply know that you got to go back to the back back area there, mm -hmm. find yourself a place to rest. Get some some electrolytes or something like that back into you as quick as you possibly can. Get whatever boom boos taken take a, a quick look at, and knowing that in the next 15, 20 minutes you could be right back out there again. Yeah, yeah. Takes that's what the, how long it need you need to stretch out and get loose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's people don't realize, and, and there wasn't uh, the the nice. Type of uh, you didn't have a like a, a private locker room or something oh. like that. You, you basically you might have some curtain drapes up, and that and that was it. That that was your designated little area. Oh, you know? Yeah, those blue blue plastic tarps separating everybody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's kind of string. You know? <laughs> the funny the funny part is your opponent's right next door. They're mm -hmm. talking strategy, and you're like, going, gosh, I can hear it all right now. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, guys. <laughs> I would do. I that. wouldn't do that one. I'd go yeah. the other route. Yeah. <laughs> So it you know it it has changed a great deal over time, but you know the UFC had to do it at the way they did it at the time because they they were flying by the seat of their pants, right? As well, I mean it, it, you had a you had a bunch of people that I don't think were used to working with athletes, and uh, you know and you're doing this very controversial uh, type of an event there on top of all that. And boxing, so, boxing was a. Uh, uh... At the top of his game at the time, you know. Yeah. Well, well yeah. boxing was at, at the top of the game, but then also it's being, it's being threatened by this newcomer. Yeah, trying to dethrone that, right? Yeah. And now, when you, when you go thirty years past that point, now it's kind of like going, now look where does boxing. boxing fit into this, and where where does uh, MMA fit into the picture as to who is king of the kings? Well, they both still make good money, but. Uh, You've got a lot of boxers that would rather take on an MMA guy right now because they know that the MMA guy is probably easier pickings for them in a boxing match. Right. You know, under the their boxers rules, not, they can beat under their rules. Yeah. You, okay. you don't see any boxers going into MMA. You know, you, you it's usually uh, the MMA guy that's going to go in and, and uh, try to take on one of these, uh, you know, 
social media influencers, things of that nature, who's got a boxing background. Well, well back when, uh, you know, Fury and Aganyu boxed, like, I think Naganyu should have won that fight, in my opinion. Or I know most, like you said, most of them aren't going to be able to do what Naganyu did. But in that case, I don't, I don't, I think it comes down to, I don't think Fury took him serious when he got into that. He thought, like you were saying, Danny, it was just going to be another, oh, this will be a piece of cake. And, and this is something that Naganyu wanted to do his whole life. Like, and he took this really serious. I think now he's going to get another fight coming up. What do I think? What was it? Against Joshua, I think. Should be good. And I think Fury learned a lesson in that fight that not to, not a joke. So, and Woodley was saying that they couldn't pay him enough money to do those old tournaments. And then you got you guys over there doing it for, you know, hardly anything you know, from back. It's, it's crazy. Like, and now, how do you think a tournament like that would do if they actually did one today? I think it would last. Well, make- one, one of the things they'd have to do, because they, I don't think they allow multiple matches in one night. Uh, and I, I do believe there is actually an organization that uh, is currently in operation that they run one match one night and then uh, leg number two of the tournament takes place like 60 or 90 days later. They'll, they'll do leg number two and then they do the finals. Yeah. I've seen you know, that. but they also have additional matches they put on the card just to fill in. So, so that if they still are putting out basically a two hour show, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen Bellator. But, but it's again, those uh, mixed martial arts is so much more a well oiled machine now because before, you know, like again, in the beginning, they didn't have fight footage of Don working on the bag, they didn't have uh, footage of him making any comments, stuff like this, or any of the pre match uh, hype and that no. that they had with it. Uh, so, no footage you know, of, of Hoist laying yeah. on his back. I'm sorry, said no footage of Hoist laying on his back. Yeah, we'll get the, yeah. There's what just no no footage altogether there, so it just make, makes a world of difference. Like I said, it, it's a well oiled machine now to where, yeah, it, even if a match goes, you know, six seconds, like I think that's the the fastest match still t- to date. You know, it's um, they got filler and ready. They have all kinds of filler right now. And before it was someone gets knocked out, and, and, and and Don, Don knocks someone did, out in did, eight did, seconds. Didn't you hold the title there for, for a while there, Don, for past his, uh, first yeah. round knockout? Yeah, for a while. Yeah. Yeah. See, so said that again. That's what, you know, You're still well, in the... people understand that. You know, Don the Predator Fry basically held the, the, the record for a while there before someone, the next guy came along. So yeah, you're yeah. like in the top 10 still. Well, actually, it's because I think you're tied with like that, like five. five yeah, like <laughs> five people have like eight, I think. Yeah, so it's all, but yeah, so technically you should be like number like four or five, but I think it's the way it works, and and the F falls later, I guess, alphabetically. I don't know, so you're you're like nine or ten, but you're still up there, like like you said before though, if that big guy wouldn't have spent five seconds getting to you, you could yeah. knocked him out quicker. Yeah, <laughs> smaller smaller range cage. Eh? Just two steps, yeah. Well, if you didn't, if you didn't want to let people punch you in the face first, if you just would have went after them, you like, yeah. like you like to get popped in the nose first before you unlo- unleash. They realize it's in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's your wake up call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure she, he, he was serious. Like, oh yeah, that fight was now. Well, see, we can even talk about the fact that Don, you're wearing a, a Godzilla T-shirt tonight. Yes. Now, yes. is this an, an honor? Is there some kind of like Godzilla uh, theme that's coming up uh, on television, Netflix, or something like that? Oh, my daughter Katie got this for me. It says Godzilla, father of the monsters. So, you know, there's more reference to her and her sister. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I see. Well, again, it's just anyone yeah. that's turned the uh, view we did, the fact that you were in the Godzilla movie itself. I so I was in it, the last Godzilla with the with the guy in the suit. Everything after that, everything was computer generated. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it, it's kind of cool to be involved in something, a classic. That, oh, yeah, that's a classic. I remember watching Godzilla movies, you know. Yeah. Taking out Mothra and a few other other creatures yeah. from whatever, you know? Yeah. Oh, it was exciting. You know, Ru- Ruhe Kanemura, you know, 
it was the writer director of it and uh you know i owe him uh a great debt of gratitude you know and shit can't say enough nice things about the guy yeah that was a good that was a good movie i love godzilla movies it was fun it was okay. fun you did a good job Thanks. you're a superb actor you should have got a, an emmy award yeah should have got something something um, yeah Hey, oh, I mean, being be involved in as many different movies as you have been about, have you ever been to any of the uh, different award celebrations to have? Because I know that mm-hmm. you know the last few nights they've had a couple of different solo, you know, award presentations taking place. That the Grammys or something just happened. I don't know. No, I've never, never been to any award show. No, I mean, it takes it takes a while to get get invited to those. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't in it long enough. <laughs> They are making a new Godzilla, right? Godzilla and Kong or something. Another Godzilla oh, Kong movie. Right. It's like the new Empire. Huh. Yeah. I think I think that there was a show, something coming like that was on Netflix or something that was like leading up to this movie. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't watch it, but my brother was telling me about it. Huh. And yeah, I forget what it was called, but yeah, something that leading up to this new movie with Godzilla and Kong. It's pretty neat because every year. Uh, I think in Chicago they have a Godzilla festival at the G Fest. Yeah, and um, so get to go there and meet all the fans and some previous actors, you know, and and the previous Godzilla movies. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's fun. Yeah, Don's got a huge following when you go to those things. This people come up to him and just Don, you're my hero. You you raised me as a kid watching your movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So sitting, the dad would just put the old VHS tape in, and <laughs> put the kid down in front of it, and walk away. Go do this. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, you yeah, too. I got that. Yeah, but now it's it's the the cell phone. They do the exact same tape, but it's all done with the cell phone. You know. Mm-hmm. So on on the note of movies, we actually had a question for Don from a fan wondering what was your favorite movie that you worked on. Oh yeah. Either be the Godzilla or uh, Public Enemies, you know, with Michael Mann. I, you know, I had the privilege to work for Michael Mann three times, you know, two movies and the uh, commercial. And uh, you know, Sidney, he's a hell of a director, hell of yeah. a director. And he's another guy, you know, like like big man who's that, you know, charisma and and you just want to perform Own, for owns the room when he walks yeah. in yeah yeah you would just want to make him happy you know yeah how was it working with uh rob snyder on big stand oh, that was great that was that was great rob rob's a great guy man. yeah yeah he was awesome yeah it was an yeah, honor to meet he's him. such a great fucking guy and yeah it was just a, like a big party you know <laughs> working on that movie yeah you know yeah, his movie, I think he just did what he was talking about it when we t- we talked to him about that uh, with his daughter. Mm-hmm. I think that just came out not too long ago. Looks, oh, yeah. That's, yeah, it looks like this. It is cool. I saw him doing the signing. Um, like I was at a Walmart or something. Like him and his daughter, they're, they're signing the movies and stuff. And, yeah. yeah, it's freaking awesome. Yeah, he's so, yeah. Up he, in Phoenix. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess. And he just did a show up in Phoenix. Yeah, yeah he's awesome. Man. Yeah, I thought we were going to go to that. Yeah, well, you were supposed to call him. <laughs> nobody, nobody reminded me man. who's supposed what, to remind me what, uh, I'm sure it was Dan's turn okay <laughs> and so how was then they also asked about um you did you had a voice acting in the ant bully movie yeah yeah how was it to how would how was that working like with voice acting did you get to meet you do you to meet any of these actors other actors or you just all do it over like the studio different studio yeah yeah because I, I know it. they had a hell different of a cast on that here movie. I did it in a studio down here in Tucson, so yeah. So you did, yeah. Oh wow, really? I never met anybody. Never yeah. saw anybody. Yeah. yeah. And you were like, you were the general ants, right? One yeah. Of the, yeah. the soldier of the army. Yeah. As you say, if no one's ever seen you. Should go. Yeah, it's a good one. Ant bully. Yeah. So that, uh, so Gene Hackman, right? So yeah, and I think Julia Roberts and <laughs> yeah, but yeah, she was one of the ants and yeah, never thought of that. I was in a movie with Gene Hackman <laughs> <laughs> and, and Julia Roberts. Jeez, look at that man! Like look at this guy. <laughs> You're just rubbing elbows. I mean, I'm surprised you don't have a piece of the red carpet. And you, you would know. think so, huh? Was, yeah. And Meryl Streep was in it. Nicholas Cage, oh. Paul Giamatti. 
Yo, baby. Yeah, Bruce Campbell. Yo, baby. <laughs> Lily Tomlin. Yeah, that was that's like I said. I, had, I was looking at the cast of that, and I was like, "Dang, that's a lot of people." So I mean, she never really got to meet any of them. No, nope. they all probably just did it in their town too, wherever right. they were at. Right. Closest studio how, of their house. How long? How long does that you nail it in one take? One take, Don. Yeah, but they 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 were like, "Shit, that's it. We're, we're here. We got we got you. We got you for an hour. Can we just yeah, yeah. do yeah. different more lines? It's like we're done. Yeah, because uh, I mean." You only had like flank left, flank right, right? It was yeah. pretty, pretty uh, minimal of what you said. I came back, yeah, I came back from Japan. Kids, the girls were little, you know, I guess five years old or whatever. I don't know. They were, they were real little. And I came back from Japan, and let's go to the movie. Let's go see the ambulance. I went there and I fell asleep. <laughs> I said, Dad, you're up. You're up. You know, it's your part. It's you. <laughs> like yeah, flank left, flank left. <laughs> All right, done. Well, what's the latest? What's the latest update on uh, on Quinn there, Don? What? Uh, okay, so Quinn has been with you, uh, you know, the last couple of times we've done this. So what's what's uh, you know, is she uh, you know, trying she's, to she's low now. profile? No, she's looking for a place to piss in Tony's house. I think so. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah, she's cruising around. Oh, she's probably looking for the water. Ah, uh, yeah, she's looking for her water bowl. Tony fucked it up, and moved it. Uh oh, can't make it through there. She, and she's blocked. She, she's blocked in. She can't get, can't get past the chair. Come on, no, there's the else you got coming up there, Doug? Um, well, what the hell? I know I have something. Um, next week, yeah, I, I travel to um North Carolina for a uh, quality insurance company. And you want to go there and um, do like a little speech and um, and shoot shoot a, a couple of motivational no motivational um, videos for the for the uh, employees for the, for the insurance company. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It, it, These people, you know, you're selling sure. this fucking insurance, or you're going to need it. Do you understand that? <laughs> is it, when it comes to shirts, I mean, it's it more into the is it the auto line? Is this a uh, health industry? Is this uh, uh it's everything but health, is what everything we, but health, okay. yeah? What do you cover a show? So, what are you looking for, kid? She's just cruising around, yeah. It, it, Brian Pope is the owner, he's turned out to be a great friend, and um, I met him. Well, we were down there in Columbia getting the stem cells. Go down there. We are getting the stem cells at the same time. And turned out to be a really great friend. You know, it was like a uh, mirror image of each other, you know. <laughs> Except if he's he's me with money and I'm him without money. So. <laughs> <laughs> Then you would be scary, Don, if you had all kinds of money. Yeah, it would be frightening. Yeah, I, I you, you'd, you'd have, you'd probably make uh, Vince McMahon look like a, you know, yeah. I'd be shit <laughs> on Vince McMahon's head. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I, I, I don't think we can do any any better than that, I, I, on that nope. note. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Just we can go out on a high note. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but um, then, uh, see, we're looking at going to the, uh, trying to, come on, baby, trying to get my tickets to the um, Anaheim fight and then the Vegas fight, you know. Um, just having trouble, having trouble getting a phone call back <laughs> from the UFC right now. <laughs> so... Yeah, it just uh, you know, you know how it is. Yeah, UFC Hall of Famer, you're entitled to two tickets to any fight you can make it to, and um, uh, I think they're starting to regret that with me because I have used I've used it for uh, a few fights, and I think they they didn't figure anybody would actually travel. You know, <laughs> they they kept us poor enough that we only go to local shows. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, again, the, 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 be, be the fact that it's their 30th year now, uh, so it, they, they've, they've got more and more fighters that are there, so right. it's kind of going, there, there'll come a point in time that uh, they'll have more UFC Hall of Famers than they might have for crowd. Yeah, it's like the NFL, you know, the NFL, the Super Bowl is pretty much just for ex-football players anymore, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that uh, that note, that's coming up this weekend. So, will you be watching it? I don't know. I haven't yes. I haven't seen a football game since that fucker started taking a knee, you know, and all them other yeah, fuckers. No, I, got, I gotcha, yeah. You know, they can all kiss my ass, and, you know, they... Um, you know, you can't appreciate that you're the greatest country on the planet, you know, and you had the opportunity, you had the opportunity to make money and invest it wisely. You fucked it up, you know, nobody but fucks it up for at, you, except, the, you know, you're, well, unless, what happened your to that guy? Ex wife takes your money and then you're, then you're fucked. But well, ha that guy got, he's he got kicked out of the league. And he's never, you know, since that shit. He wasn't good enough. He well, yeah. But, good enough. but yeah, but it, yeah, you're right. If it was Tom Brady, it wouldn't have mattered, you know, but, but yeah, he wasn't good anyways. He wasn't like he was a good right. quarterback, but yeah, after that happened, they booted his ass, you know, and then, and then Nike was going to try to do some program with him or campaign. And then they realized that that wasn't a good move. And well, it turned bagged, out, you know, he, that he stabbed shit. other people yeah. in the back. Because oh yeah. Other people needed help and he wouldn't help them. But you know, I mean, everybody took a knee on his behalf yeah. when it came to time no, that, for him. To help yeah, but that's that that whole yeah that whole thing's done in the wrong way. It's stupid. It's it's, ignorant. it's, it's like ignorant. But they haven't missed my money. It's been oh like no. Years. I mean, I guess I, I'm still gonna watch. And I hate I hate the Chiefs. When I actually I'll watch to see. Hopefully they lose. You know, but like I could care less really. Like I just don't want them to win. This is my. Nobody's invited me to come over and watch the game, Dan. That's, that's so well. Yeah, and you, so you could tell us no. <laughs> I don't like football. Oh, fuck you. I'm going to watch that shit. What kind of food are you having? <laughs> Working the best kind of barbecue. Free. Can, yeah. <laughs> the yep. best kind what, of free. Whatever you, Dan Severn will be here. <laughs> whatever you bring over. <laughs> but, but on, give, Dan a, give Dan a gas card. He'll be here. <laughs> yeah. then, well, Dan... The Lions, speaking of football, the Lions did pretty good this year. How was Michigan? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I actually had to be watching that one playoff game. Uh, it was, a, again, it was surprising. It was a very high-scoring playoff game. I was really kind of shocked that uh, yeah, I thought, I thought it the Lions... got that high. I mean, it, it's, uh, it just made you question – Major question defense on, on behalf of both teams because there's like, oh, is, is anyone actually trying to tackle somebody? Is anyone actually, any of the defenders actually trying to defend the people from, uh, you know, it's, catching footballs and things of that nature? So well, it's, it's, it's different now. Footballs, you're not allowed to tackle anymore like it used to be. Well, you, you got, you got to look at, you got to look at the, uh, yeah, I can say the pads are one thing. Um, the uniforms, I mean, they look like it, 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 it looks like the uniforms are just getting smaller and smaller. Pads are getting smaller. Yeah. I mean, they might be better yeah. density be or they can take impact better, but uh, it just seems like they don't look like there's much padding anymore. No. No, but they, so they 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 set it up to to be able to score now to play for the offensive game. Yeah. You know, yeah, they, they probably make it better better pad you know like a bulletproof vest you know it's not not big and bulky now but uh the protection is better yeah well, don't go grab brandon's yeah i'll get i'll get it i don't want to he's moving it a lot i'll go check trying, I'll, trying get, I'll go trying to get uh, quinn's quinn's walking around looking for a place to piss or vomit or something. <laughs> keep an eye on her yeah, well, we we can actually again we could we could break this to a close here unless we got uh, anything else really to, to to go on there real quick. We, we could uh... then go on and go party. She don't trust Tony. <laughs> he said something about ah, there they go. He said something about making a taco when he looked at her. You know? <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do for the fight or the? Uh, game well i i honestly i i didn't know that the super bowl was taking place until like either either yesterday or something like that that 
okay, Super Bowl is actually taking place. I, for whatever reason, Don, my, I, I've been so involved in trying to just do all the different emails and Facebook posts and try to respond to people's Facebook Me and responses. You take the point outside, but Tony already dead. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I just can't keep up. I can't keep up right now. I mean, that's, uh, I spent so many hours. I went to ASU's. Uh, oh, how'd that go? Yeah. How, how'd that the go? MMA fight that. Well, I'll, I'll just say that uh, they set, they being, you know, the, the, the people that I'm working with there at, at ASU, they sent me this list of, of 12 guys that were going to be at this MMA recognition. And only you and up. <laughs> I did not know who the ele- other 11 people were. Yeah. I, I, I get not a single name. And the fact that your name wasn't on there, a name like Henry Segudo's name wasn't on there. I mean, just a name a couple Bader. of people. You didn't have Bader's name? Yeah. Bader's name wasn't on there either. That's so crazy because he's the hottest thing right now. You know? Yeah, there's uh, I was surprised about it. So all I'll say is that I, I did orchestrate an email. And at the end, I said, bottom line, my grade on all effort was a D minus. It didn't fail for you or for them. Uh, just for, uh, I, uh, for well for the execution of what it should have been. Yeah. Because you know don't think that I, I know I know why they wanted to be there. It wasn't just for for that. It's for, for something else. And uh, it was it was poorly it was poorly handled. And uh, there's there's three events taking place at ASU, and I'm hoping that uh, they'll pull their head out of their rectum and will be organized. Otherwise, I have better things to, to do with my time. Right, right. So I'm not trying to be mean, but it's like going, I, I look at a lot of people that work in these uh educational facilities and much like I, I do most politicians and that's not a good thing because oh. you know they, they, they're, they, they got cushy jobs they really don't know what it means to really beat the bushes I, oh. I, I've got a program right now that I I told I have told them I'll do it but it's got to be done my way. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, their way, I look this way, their way has not worked because why Why are they Why are they dropping Sunkiss wrestling program that has been there for 30 years? 40 years. Yeah. Oh, 40, 40 years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's a. Uh, Or pre-planning on their behalf. You don't put the burden upon the pe- the 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 man or the the people that have been running it all this time and have been graciously dipping it to their pocket. Yeah, you got to know that sooner or later. Been paying for it for forty fucking years. Yeah, all by himself. You know, and uh, the well's running dry. You know, because I'm sure because. You know, I mean, he loves wrestling. God bless him, and he's got the yeah. one. I'm sure he doesn't feel appreciated because you know, you know, I mean, he didn't do it because he wanted you know uh, notoriety, but a little, little acknowledgement and appreciation goes a long way. Yeah, well, you 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 get tired of. I mean, the fact that he funded it for that many years. Right. You know, you you kind of like. When is anybody else going to start stepping up to the plate right. and helping to carry the burden? Because again, you're not going to be around forever. He's not going to be around forever. Just like I'm not going to be around forever. So you gotta, you gotta start planning for that contingency down the road. Well, you think within these last forty years, then they could have started developing some kind of fund, you know, that it could uh, generate more, you know, interest and uh, and pay for itself. Yeah, well, Don, I, I've been trying to, I have been asking for various information, and it is slow in coming in, and I, I go and I, I'm, I'm really just, you know, just to that point, it's kind of going, you guys asked me to do something, and now you want to slow me down. 
I got better things to do with my time. So you either get on board or say, sire not to me. I'm not going to, you're not going to hurt my feelings, you know, but I'm, am I going to sit there and, and send you a boatload of money? What do you think those odds are, Don? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You didn't let me down on that one there, right there. Yeah. Oh, say that, oh, that, yeah not even a penny. Yeah. That, 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 that fanny pack was just simply stay zip tight. You bet. Yeah, well, I know that um, when Tony and I went to uh, the late, great um, Terry Funk's funeral a few months back. To who? Um, Terry Funk. Oh, okay. Went to his funeral. There's a um, couple people there, you know, who were talking about um, finding an uh, oil billionaire um to finance a wrestling team at one of the universities i think west texas state or whoever Te yeah. texas a and m you know where they are now and uh you know doing a wrestling team and um so i don't i don't know how that went how that's going along but if, if you're interested in moving to texas you know <laughs> because um you know there's no state income tax in texas <laughs> but you know you they want they're looking at they're looking at um mma you know putting having a feeder program for mma you know on a, from by a wrestling team yeah well we gotta look at you know a, a break some of the breaking points for arizona state wrestling it has had more ufc champions and and or other mma uh companies champions and a runner-up that any other university, hands down, the number one university, wrestling-based company, uh, uh, yeah, wrestling-based uh, university that has produced more champions. And then when you look at, you know, throw the fact that what's wrong with submission grappling, what's wrong with uh, being a professional wrestler, you, what, what the universities have allowed right now, you can monetize on your high school credentials, or if you went to a junior college, what you did in your junior college and stuff like that, you can monetize on your high school reputation, uh, your achievements to where they'll be like, Don Fry, not only will we give you a full scholarship, we'll also give you $100,000 paid out over the next five years of your career. Right. Again, I'm just using it as one example. But the, the, the one of the drawbacks is if you in, in midstream, if, if you're just a sophomore, and then all of a sudden you got a team like let's say like Oklahoma State or Iowa or uh, Penn State, and they, they say, "Don Fry, you did you had such a phenomenal freshman year, we want to offer you a hundred and fifty thousand dollars paid out." You can leave. You can leave one one college and go right to the other one, and there's no penalty. Oh, you don't, you don't have to sit up. Wow. You don't have to sit out the year anymore. Wow. You literally could go right in the lineup. And that was, at least there was some kind of condition. So yeah. the, the sad note is only the programs with the deepest pockets will survive. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because they can, they can just buy their talent. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, that'll be tough. You could still be a great wrestler, but if you don't have a, it'll be hard for you to stick around to and be there for a coach or a program that you don't believe in or you don't like. Or if you're the only one on the team winning, yeah. 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 Well, that was, again, the, you know, ASU pulled out a squeaker of a match. They end up, uh, they end up winning, I think, 17 19 was the final, was the final score. So it, it so, came right down to like the, the last match. No, who they wrestle? Oh, they 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 went up against. Uh, it was uh, Oregon State. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. So I mean, it was it was it, it made it an exciting match. But did you did you think? No. Did you think there was, there was a single pin that took place? Really? Yeah. No. I'm just surprised Oregon State did that close. But but there was um. What they have introduced, though, this is a diff they have a three-point takedown now. Not two, but a, a three-point takedown, saying how it's going to really make the sport that much more exciting. I'm thinking, 
Okay. I still think, well, why don't you reward the pin instead of six points? Maybe give it eight points. Give it nine points, you know, to where it it would make the sport a whole lot more exciting. Riding time does not make it a real exciting sport. No, they need to, most people, they need, most to people just, they need to just change everything and, and go to freestyle and Greco, you know. And oh, I totally we'll, agree. Just do it overnight. Fuck it. Because, I mean, that's, that, uh, you know, America doesn't do that fair that well at the uh, Olympic Games at the right. or at the World Championships because we're doing folk style all of our careers until you're out of college and then when you once you're out of college you have only really one opportunity you could be trying to do back and forth but then that's almost dis disruptive there to you because you might be doing okay collegiate for so many so many months oh which is the same thing as folk style and then all of a sudden you know now you're into your spring and summer and fall freestyle Greco season, it, it makes it just a little bit disruptive when, when you're trying to wear different hats. Right. You know. Oh yeah. It it's it puts us back five five years, you know, yeah. um ten years. Yeah, but, but okay, but when it comes to the female wrestling, um, from some of the couple of things that I've read, that's I mean, the United States is like number one for what uh, female wrestlers are doing right now, but then I don't know if any other countries look at wrestling as maybe just a, a more male dominant sport versus the female dominant sport. I, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I mean, how many? Yeah, how many have generated a full team? Right. Right. So, where are we at here? I mean, we're at seven. We're close at seven fifteen. That's a total. Yeah, before, uh, total that I'd be there good for a good hour, and then I I, I gotta go. So, well, before we go, explain why you have your flag upside down. Oh, well, Don, Don knows what, what, what upside down flag means. No, I know. Just let's just have. Uh, okay, but it, it's uh, just so if, uh, it, it, it would, it, it, it's, a, it's a signal. It just basically it shows That's that it. Uh, something is in, in d distress, correct? Right. Distress. We need help. <laughs> yeah. And again, that's why I say that the United States right now. Is in kind of a state of di uh, distress. I mean, it, you, you can't. It's it's sad to even watch the news anymore. Right. And again, it just all depends on what net what network right. do you even <laughs> do you even trust to get the real how the real story? How, how dumb are you? What, yeah. what channel you're gonna the TV on now? Yeah. So you, you you watch kind of a blend of either or, knowing that okay, I don't trust these guys. I don't trust these guys. Okay, let's mix it together. It's like going. It still makes well. Again, the, the 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 current reigning president, biggest goofball in the world, and he just uh, he, he actually worse. sinks to newer and newer lows, yeah. all the way around. And these people are propping him up, and you know they they want to support him for another run. It's like, yeah, he pissed on the country in his first run. Why would you want him? You know, again. Yeah. No, it's. Totally, totally agree. It's uh, selling, selling the country down, and the repercussions of imprisonment and uh, garnishment, and uh, simply just take away all of his value uh, that he had collected. It is lucrative forty years of being involved in politics. Yeah, multimillionaire on a job that pays one hundred seventy-five thousand a year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He must be running with, with that same pack that Vince is working with there, I think. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Well, you know, Vince Vince shits on women, and this guy shits on the country. <laughs> no. That, that, uh, what a note to end it all on there. All right, gentlemen, have a good evening. <laughs> all right, sir. Thanks, Dan. All right, we'll see you. Thank you for watching another episode of Dan and Don's Toxic Masculinity. You better like, subscribe, and share or I'm going to come to your house.